Okay. Shark circulatory system. Take one. All right. So here is the heart, and it has been cut off right here. But um, surrounding the serous membrane, surrounding the whole heart, would be the visceral pericardium. And then surrounding the whole chamber here, where it sits, would be the parietal pericardium. Okay? The heart um, is separated from the rest of the body cavity through the transverse septum. And we've cut the transverse septum so that we can see everything. Okay? The heart then is made of the ventricle. This is the muscular part that pumps all the blood to the rest of the body. And then two other parts the sinus venosus is where the blood pools and then the atrium is a muscular part that pumps the blood into the ventricle okay and it's kind of all squished together but if you know the sinus venosus leads into the atrium which then leads into the ventricle um, you should be able to keep them straight um, the ventricle then leads into the conus arteriosus Okay, and the conus arteriosus then leads into the ventral aorta. Okay, from there you have branches that go off into the gills. These are the afferent brachial art arteries. And then they do a loop within the gills where they're picking up oxygen. And for your reference, you want to use the gill arch or the hole here. Okay. The collector loop then is made of um, post-traumatic arteries, which is going to be below the gill arch. Above the gill arch is the pre-traumatic arteries. It can be confusing because they're connected, and it looks like one's on. This is on top of this one. But again, you need to use the gill arch here as your reference, or the gill slits as your reference. Okay, then coming out of the collector loop, you have the efferent branchial arteries, which then lead into your dorsal aorta. Okay, going towards the nose, you have the paired dorsal aortae. There's two of those, they're very small. And then those meet up with the internal carotid arteries. Okay, um, you can see the efferent branchial arteries are all going in a certain direction. You have one here at the bottom that's going uh, posterior. Well, these are all going anterior. That is the subclavian artery. There's one on each side. Um, and then you have along the abdominal wall, this is the anterior ventrolateral artery. And there's one on each side as well. Okay? And that's all for the, the anterior chamber above the horizontal septum. And now we're going to move into the mesentery and the organs. And what you have, you see this big one. This is actually coming off the dorsal aorta, but you can't see where it comes off. Um, this is the celiac artery. And if you go down and look where the reproductive organs are, so there was some ovaries here that kind of got mutilated. But there's a little branch off the celiac right here. It's going to be the ovarian artery, and then if these were testes, it would be the um, spermatic artery. Okay? The celiac artery crosses the hepatic artery here. So they kind of make an X. And then the lower half of the X, you have the gastric artery going to the stomach. And then that splits into ventral gastric arteries and then dorsal gastric arteries. And you kind of have to flip it around and see the other side, the dorsal gastric arteries. Okay? And then the other part of the X then, after the gastric artery, is the um, anterior 
sorry, not anterior. It's pancreaticomesenteric, and that's going towards the pancreas. So the pancreaticomesenteric artery. Okay. Then you have this artery here. This is the anterior intestinal artery. And then you have, going down here into the mesentery, you have one coming off uh, the colon is the anterior mesenteric artery. And then the posterior intestinal artery here. Okay. The gastrosplenic artery and is this one that goes to the spleen and it also comes off the dorsal aorta. So you can see where it crosses the anterior mesenteric, anterior gastro or sorry, gastrosplenic artery. Okay, and then you have the posterior mesenteric artery which goes to the digitiform gland and the iliac artery there's one on each side and the caudal arteries which go under the kidneys and then out the back of the tail okay and then there's one other one here we had the anterior ventrolateral vein that showed you that one before and then as it goes down here you have posterior ventrolateral arteries. That's all the arteries. The veins, there's less of, but they, um, some of them follow a different path. The hepatic artery is pretty simple. It follows the hepatic portal system and the hepatic artery. This is hepatic vein, excuse me. Hepatic portal vein. You have the gastric vein going to the stomach pancreatico mesenteric vein following the artery and then you have these ones which are slightly different the leno mesenteric vein goes down the pancreas okay then you have the posterior lenogastric vein which is right here off the spleen into the stomach And then the posterior intestinal vein, the anterior intestinal vein, and then the anterior lenogastric vein is this little branch here that runs right um, off into the duodenum. Okay. All right, and then the uh, renal portal system is, for some reason, the latex didn't get injected very well. But what you have is the caudal vein, which is in the tail, and then that um, splits into the renal portal veins, which go then into the kidneys. Um, and you can't see them because they didn't get latex. Um, all right, and then we have the systemic vein. So these are all the veins right before it goes up into the heart. So you have this one in the liver. That's the hepatic sinus. And then you have the common cardinal vein, which is where it all comes together. Um, going off the side of that is the posterior cardinal vein. And then coming from the kidneys into that would be the efferent renal veins. Okay, and those I, you can't see here, but it would, this is where the kidneys, kidneys go all the way along the dorsal surface, and then it would go into the posterior cardinal vein. Okay, and then you have this big one, the most obvious one right down the side is the lateral abdominal vein. You see it on this side too. That's all of the veins and arteries that you need to know in the shark.